what's going on? Back plugging again with you for the profit. Hey, yo, man, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? So I wanted to go ahead and make this video to talk about what to do after anniversary, right? Because a lot of y'all for, you know, it, it is what it is. I understand K-Lab says round three, y'all believe him, but there's never been a round three. And um, we know that there's no round three of anniversary because the next banner is this like premium banner here. So yeah, um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and do my first daily free single or free multi and we'll just kind of see how this goes but um okay we got a five we had a five um, see we get here that's a tosh ms tosh yep all right that's pretty solid can uh can't complain with that i mean i already have them but that's uh two five two five but yeah, so basically what I'm talking about is what to do after anniversary, right? <clears throat> the hype is pretty much gone or like dying down. And as players, whether you're intermediate or newer, you're trying to figure out what should you be doing right now. Me personally, I am back to saving tickets. That is basically what I'm doing. And uh, I'm trying to save, so I know this sounds like kind of insane, right? But we have two anniversaries every year, and some, in some cases it's not acknowledged as global anniversary. Sometimes it's just acknowledged as New Year's. And for the last two years, it's been referred to as New Year's. So... But yeah, but the New Year's banner is generally January, well, it's the end of month, December. So that was like Quincy Ichigo, and we got another character for New Year's, but at the time it was Global Anniversary. I was like, yo, it's a lot of, uh, I didn't even know the skinny was speed. I did, but I forgot. But, so basically, I don't know. I might be saving my tickets for like another six months to see who comes up, you know, as like the new character. Because generally for New Year's, they do some type of really, really good banner. Last year, it was actually the Daddy Ichigo and Mama Rukia banner. So, of course, that wasn't like, you know, the, the standard. But the December banner was really good. So... Basically, just to put stuff into perspective, what I'm doing is I'm going to be saving tickets. I'm going to be saving orbs. We do know that we have Spirits Out Forever With You banners coming out very soon. We also have Burn the Witch Round 2 coming. And we don't know if Nini and Noel will actually appear in that banner. The main reason why that's kind of up for discussion is because it's been a year since these characters will have originally dropped in October. So if it ends up landing till, you know, October, till when Burn the Witch Round 2 comes out, it'll be a full year, and it kind of could stand to reason that these characters may be in the filler pool. So keep that in mind. That's not, you know, certain of any kind. In most cases, Round 1 characters are never going to be filler in Round 2, but this is the only instance where it's been a full year from one Baron to the next. So keep that in mind. You know, those of you guys that are interested in the Burn the Witch characters, myself included, it's more likely to be Bruno and um, maybe Billy Banks, but we'll see. But so right now, what I would just be doing is stacking up on my resources, stacking up on orbs. So what that means is all these little mid-month banners that are premium banners just skip these because these characters first of all this is two percent banner these arena banners skip those like i'm not doing a single step on any of these types of banners i've gotten arena characters from tickets and you can get these characters from tickets as well 
So it would stand the reason that in the, in about six months, if you save your tickets with all these new premium characters coming out, they would have a higher value versus saying, oh, Arena Kenny just came out. Let me save up all my tickets for him. Then two weeks later, oh, Arena Ukiora comes out or oh, however they're doing this Arena Train character, they're, they're very powerful and it's moving very, very fast. And that also leads me to another topic that I really wanted to talk about for the future of Bleach Brave Souls, like arena mode. Like how many of you guys are still spending, you know, some time daily in arena mode? Because I will tell you that after you get a rank 10 character, rank nine even, it's almost impossible to get games. Not impossible because you can do it, but it's like you, you get your favorite character to rank nine and then you can't get games. It's almost impossible to play with them. In the earlier stages, yes, you can get games. So if you want to just do a bunch of characters for your links and stuff like that just to play around and maybe just to get the trophies, maybe. But make sure you guys let me know what you guys are thinking about this arena game mode. I think that the mode is fun, but it needs better rewards. Like, these should be a thousand points, in my opinion. The 25 orbs should be a thousand. Normally, that's kind of how it is, but it just depends on the marketplace. But, yeah, man, I think that the awards for Arena are very lackluster. And... It's like at first you get the trophies and you're like, where are the trophies? You're like, oh my gosh, you're getting orbs so fast. And then once you get to like 9,000 or something like that, it gets super, super few and far between between those trophies. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, they start happening pretty quickly. But, bro, getting this 65,000, like, bro, this is going to take so so long like i don't even know like let me know if you guys have like some type of plan formulated or are you just just doing every character to level five or your best links to level five because like i said once you get your character to rank nine and ten and my only two invested characters are ranked nine and ten which is my eisen and then my noel and it's like once you get that high with with characters, it's all it's so hard to get games. You're 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 getting bots, and it's just like a whole entire mess. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about that. I just wanted to bring it up a little bit to kind of talk about that in the comment section, so I know I do have a video prepared for this whole arena topic. But yeah, man. So. Guys, the main thing that you want to be doing right now is saving your orbs. Right now, this anniversary co-op event, if you're an intermediate to new player, grind this to the dirt. This event right here. Right now, there's no bonus potions. There's bonus droplets, but that's, you know, pretty frequent. But this is the best use of your soul tickets right now. In my personal opinion, I will say that it does suck because the drops are kind of RNG, but, and it's like a 1% chance to get those like super fat, fat paydays. But man, I've literally had people that have spent, you know, 200, 300, 400 tickets doing this in the past eight days. And now they're up to 20,000 rainbow potions like bro i have like thirty-one thousand rainbow potions and that's from just passively grinding for you know years in this game imagine a new account just having twenty-one thousand rainbow potions because you're getting four thousand here and three thousand here and two thousand here like over the course of the next two weeks that's going to take you a long 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 way you know, you can't guarantee that the drops are going to come, but all you can do is try and farm it. The crystals and jewels, 
the EXP crystals, all that stuff is super, super mega, mega valuable. And it's just less resources that you need to farm and worry about on your account. All in all, man, I would start farming your orbs, start saving your orbs too. Right now, we don't even have any clear cut date and information on Thousand Years Blood War, when it will return to the game. What the insider news on Thousand Years Blood War is that if once Thousand Year Blood War becomes in the anime, then it will be under K Live standard licensing so that they can cover the game. And then we will be able to have like seasonal Thousand Year Blood War characters. So, but this wouldn't be able to happen until K Live doesn't have to individually pay for the licensing. So, none of that is confirmed, but that's basically what is you know, under the assumption, under the microscope, as a business of K-Lab. And they've clearly proven with characters like this Aizen and the Spirits Are Forever With You characters that we don't 1,000% need Thousand Year Blood War to continue on. So until now, farming up your BBS tickets is a major, major resource because those are actually God-tier characters. Like, these are totally amazing characters. Yes, characters like Jushiro and, you know, these characters are limited. Of course, you can't get those from BBS tickets, but you can still get very, very great characters from premium tickets. I'll be farming premium tickets, farming orbs, farming this co-op event, and when you're done with that, farm the point event. I would only farm the point event when it's in the bonus stages, though. In the first half, I would do other things like Chronicle Quest. Like, I've already started my Chronicle Quest. You know, I've, I've started doing the point event lightly just because you want to make sure you do it at least 25 times each before the bonus event comes out. So, you're not like, you know, so you're being efficient, right? But, yeah, I've started grinding my Part 1 Chronicle Quest stuff out. And, like I said, I generally do this the first part of the point event while you know there's a lot going on or while there's less going on in the point of it excuse me this is the one that i've kind of farmed out a little bit i got the orbs the double orbs and then i got some of the scrolls the bbs tickets so i'll be working on the chronicle quest um as the week goes on and i will be using these tickets for chronicle quest but i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys let me know what's your plan for the upcoming few months without thousand and blow war are you guys high for like spirit time forever with you like Kisuke or Mayuri or Gein or maybe you're looking for, you know, Beyond Bankai Toshiro, something that's not exactly announced yet. Are you guys saving for Burn the Witch? Make sure you let me know in the comment section. Um, also, if you guys are saving for any of those really big banners and you'd like me to summon on your account during a live stream, make sure you let me know. Send me the information on Discord, obviously on a discreet way. Till next time, Prop Nation. Do love y'all. But I'm out. I'll make a win.